to my channel and today we're going to make a tasty spinach soup. And this is the, the ingredients that you start with, this is your basic ingredients. You've got washed spinach in a bag and there's 350 gram there and you've got some ground black pepper and we've got a dessert spoon of corn flour and a dessert spoon of sunflower oil, four vegetable oxo cubes, one potato and one brown onion. And we're going to chop these and then we're going to get back to you. Alright, now we've chopped the potatoes and the onion. We're going to put them in the pan with the sunflower oil. So we'll just do that. Quite a large pan here. You want your potatoes quite small and quite thin. And pop them in with the onion. And then you want it on quite a low heat. I'm going to saute this, or wait till the onion and the potatoes are going to be soft, for about five, five to ten minutes. You don't need to stir them all the time, just don't let them stick to the pan. Yeah, now they're sauteed, um, so basically they're not rock hard. Now what we're going to do is we're going to crumble in a vegetable oxo stock, which is these, and then we're going to use 36 fluid ounce of water. So go and always put your stock in first, crumble it in, and then put your water in after because we will save some water to mix a little bit of the corn flour in at the end. Let's get these on. Right, we're this soup is going to be blended at the end, so it doesn't matter if they're not fully crumbled. fluid ounce of hot water. So there's an 18 fluid ounce that I've already done. I'm going to just make another one in here with the Pyrex jug. It's better without water because it dissolves all the cube properly as well. Right, we've got 18 ounce on here. And I'm going to pour that in as well. And we're going to save a little bit because we're going to just mix some corn flour in this one. Dessert spoon of corn flour goes in here. Stir it up. You don't have to make it to a paste like some people say. You can just do it so that it just goes into the water. And because it's blended, it'll all blend together in the end anyway. Just If you haven't got corn flour, you can use plain flour because um, all it does really is thicken it up. But sometimes it's better if you mix it in cold water. But just get that in. And then, what we're going to do is pop in the spinach. In the bag. You can put all of that in, but just take your time if it's not all over. Blend down quite a lot, and the more you put in, the better flavour you get. Just pop that down, and, it there. and I'm going to pop in the black pepper. Put quite a good portion of pepper in because pepper brings out the flavour, the salt dampens it down. So I don't use a lot of salt, but I do use quite a lot of pepper. So we're just going to put pepper in this one, and then cook it, and we're going to cook it on a low heat. 25 minutes and then we're going to cool it and we're going to